I'm just curious to know both of your perspectives on sort of the state of, of miners as lenders, miners lending out their coins, trying to earn yield and also grow their, their actual Bitcoin stack at the same time. You're right in the sense that that's gotten a lot more popular. And I think, you know, it makes sense from just like a pure markets and like fund flows perspective. If you're a miner, you know, you post Bitcoin as collateral at 10, 15K and you, you know, equipment as well, let's say, and then you know, you're mining and the price runs up and you've saved a bunch of coins, you might not necessarily need like to borrow more cash against what that portfolio is worth at like the LTV that the lender would require. So you're going to have excess collateral. And when you have excess collateral, there's really two options. You withdraw it back to yourself or you sell it or you keep it, but it's so over collateralized that, you know, you it's worth asking, hey, can I shift this to some to loan? and lend it to you guys. And then, you know, you can get interest paid in USD, which will then help with your sort of monthly expenditures, or you can get interest compounded in kind in Bitcoin and kind of just amass your stack, um, kind of what miners fundamentally like to do anyways. So I think, you know, you've definitely seen a lot more, um, you know, supply coming out of the mining side. And I think, you know, you're seeing rates materially lower on crypto across the board, Bitcoin, ETH, ETH really everything. Um, just because there's more supply willing to lend into the market. I do think miners play, play, play a big slice of that. Yeah. I only have a little bit more to add. I think, again, there's, I've also experienced sort of a group of miners that are risk averse, don't actually want to trust sort of other custodians or others in general, like with their Bitcoin and actually give up sort of the opportunity to earn additional yield. Um, I would say like that group, I find is sometimes some of the smaller miners, often also the private miners. And so when we look at sort of like subsections of the market here that are looking for sort of this opportunity, I think it's definitely a growing space is the public miners in particular, because it's something where now these public miners have institutional investors that are asking them questions, a growing pool of sort of capital that or Bitcoin that they can generate yield on. And increasingly, you know, their investors are going to be asking them, okay, you have this pool of Bitcoin, what are you doing with it? One option is what we already talked about a little bit in entering do something like a Bitcoin backed loan um, and putting that to work or, you know, acting as, as the lender themselves, putting it into sort of yield uh, products that are available. And I think, yeah, it's something that, you know, a lot of public miners just have to even be accountable about 